Welcome back to guitarschool22.co.uk. I'm Mark and I'm back with this week's YouTube tutorial for Rejection by ACDC. If you haven't checked out this album yet, their new album Power Up, it's amazing. You really need to check that out. I literally could have picked any song off this album and it would have been a great song for you to learn, but I've gone for Rejection. So to kick us off, we've got an A5 power chord. It's amazing how many songs Angus Young has created out of just A, G, and D. You know, if you know if you can play Highway to Hell, you've probably worked out what's going on here already. But let's check things out. So we've got an A5 power chord up first. I'm holding down strings three and four on fret two with my first finger, so with the pad of my first finger, not the tip of my fingers, you won't, you won't get two strings held down with your tip. So the pad of your finger on the second fret, strings three and four, and I've got the, the fifth string open. And then the second fret on the third string, second fret on the third string. I've got three beats on this chord, just like in Highway to Hell. Next up is a G5 power chord. That's the second finger on the sixth string, third fret, third finger on the second string, third fret, and fourth finger on the first string, third fret. I'm muting that A string out, fifth string, with the, with the pad of my finger. Three beats on that chord as well. So so far, the hardest thing here is the is the quick changes that Angus does. Take your time, keep it slow. And then you stop in the strings with your hand after that. As you do that, you can change to the D5 power chord because there's a rest there after that G5. Rest. And then go into the D5, okay? So A5 three times. G5 three times. Stop the strings and change into the D5 power chord as you stop them. Okay? The D5 power chord, it's just like a, a D major chord, but I'm not playing the, th the first string, so I'm muting that one out. So here I've got my first finger on the third string, second fret, and my third finger on the second string, third fret. I've got the, the D string open, the fourth string open, the second fret on the third string. three beats on this chord. So, so far. From there, we're just gonna play the single note on the fifth string of the C chord. So that's fifth string, third fret, finger two. And then go back into a D5 for one beat. 
So that's D5 three times. And then that's C now. Back into the D, okay? So, so far. And that's your first measure. Second measure is very similar. C note there with some vibrato. Back into the neck. And then comes the verse. So, measure one. Measure two. Measure three and four are the same as measure one. Incidentally, on those C notes, I'm just dragging it down a little bit. Just doing a little bend in that. The D5. Okay, so there's a little bend on that, on that C note. For the verses, it's just that riff. You place that four times, so. the bridge section again that's very similar we've got a5 three times g5 twice this time and then to c5 power chord so here I've got my third finger on the fifth string third fret and my first finger on the second string first fret I'm muting that D that fourth string out, and I've got the open G. I'm not playing the first string either, or the six. So I'm playing the strings five, three, and two. And again, we stop it. And then G five, five times, one, two, three, four, five, and into the D five. that three times that whole that whole sequence three times we go to an E chord that's first finger third string first fret second finger fifth string second fret and third finger, fourth string, second fret. Three beats on that. Two beats on the D5, and one beat on the G, so. E5, one, two, three, D, D, G. D, B, E, D, D, G. And then D, 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 D. Again, that's just that single C note on its own. And then for the chorus, he's using the same riff. As the intro and the verses. But he's just letting that last note ring out instead of stopping it.
bridge riff as well. <laughs> repeating those sections all the way through. If you'd like a free guitar tap, go on the website guitarschool22.co.uk, go to the resources page and download the tab for free. If you've got any requests or comments, please put them in the comment section and I'll try and get those done for you. Please like and subscribe, it really helps me reach out to more people and stay safe and well and I'll see you next time.